A Michigan lawmaker pleading with the Biden administration to keep the Line 5 pipeline open. The main reason, it's a major source of propane and energy, her, an energy supply her district and her state cannot afford to lose. With me now, Michigan State Senator Lana Tice. Good morning to you. So, Good morning. if Line 5 shuts down, what happens to the people in your district? The first thing I want to do is tell you thank you for letting us advocate for the state of Michigan. What happens to the people in the state of my district, and frankly, the entire state, is increased costs. Energy costs are going to go up. Actually, all our costs go up. So our grocery costs go up, our medicine costs go up. It's not just at the pump. And we're experiencing what's happening at the pump every time yeah. we go there. We see the price go up and up and up. I know, and that's the thing, is that people are already experiencing high gas prices. So if this pipeline shuts down, do they go higher? It, mm -hmm. They probably more than double. Wow. And frankly, up in the UP, they're they're estimating that their costs will go up. The over Upper Peninsula three, of Michigan. Yes, yeah. over three hundred dollars a month, and these are the people with the lowest median income in the state. Why is Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer doing this? I'm sure you you know her. What is her motivation? She's uh, concerned about the environment. Well, she's playing to her political base, so this is something she ran on, but no, actually, I don't know her. I spent four years in the House, and now I've been in the Senate for almost a full term. I've yet to meet her. Wow. Um, it's cold. It's about to get even colder, and the Biden administration admits that the cost to heat your home is going to go up. What's going to happen this winter? Our pocketbooks are already maxed out. We've got the COVID inflation covering absolutely everything. Like I said, our groceries, our fuel. We can't afford to have this go any higher. It has to stop. Yeah. And, you know, the thing that's interesting about um, it's, it distinguishes this situation from the Keystone XL pipeline is that this pipeline has been um, here for, what, 70 years? So because of that, it's already here, it's already in existence, and there is no other way to get this propane, this oil, to your constituents. The only other way to do it, I guess, would be by truck. And when you get into that, that is worse for the environment than a pipeline. It's that, significantly that my more dangerous. Can you picture a truck traveling over the Mackinac Bridge? We actually have to shut the bridge down when it's windy to cars. Picture a propane truck trying to come in. Yeah. Um, what about um, the Biden administration saying that people don't understand what's going on right now with the economy? They don't understand the supply chain issues. They don't understand what inflation really means. Do you, do you uh, agree with that? Michiganders are smart. The American people are smart. We've seen inflation before. We understand what it looks like. We haven't seen it like this in over 30 years. But Obviously, it doesn't need to be this way, and what we shouldn't do is double down on stupid and make it even worse by shutting down the pipeline. Well, there is a portion of the pipeline that may be replaced, um, and that's the part that's the part of the pipeline that the governor has an issue with. It's under um, the Great Lakes, and she's concerned about an oil spill. If that replacement happens, would, would the pipeline be safe? Because there is concern uh, on the environmental front there. The new tunnel that they want to drill is extraordinarily safe, and that's why they're doing it. But the best thing about this is it's private industry that's working to make the environment even safer. But as you said, this has been operating for many decades safely. We need to make sure we keep providing the energy to our citizens and not shut it down in the middle of winter. That's on the minds of your constituents. Are they worried about this? Yes, every day. They, like I said, their pocketbooks are already maxed out. They can't, they can't afford an increase in cost. Yeah, it's interesting because you're talking about the loss of jobs for a lot of people in Ohio, then, of course, the cost of energy going up for your constituents in Michigan. So it's definitely a concern on the minds of a, a lot of good, hardworking Americans, and that's why we're here in Toledo talking about it. Operating Engineers 324 is based out of my district as well. They stand to lose jobs. They, they, they work on this pipeline. They help to fix this pipeline. They're going to build the new one. We desperately need to keep this going.